Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. We never find somebody that's weak in a bunch because everybody pushes themselves to the same pace as everybody else. Practice for this team is very important because like we pick up a lot of things as we're going and plus we're getting better at the same time. Ah! Our practice is harder than some tournaments. It's a great thing to come to practice every day and we stay in shape and like we always on top of our game. Practice is always intense. I think our practice is more mental than physical. We have to be mentally tough because if we mess up, Coach Hilly's gonna get on us. And some guys break down for that and they, they ruin their whole day. Knees bent, ready to play. To pay for a great coach like Coach Hurley is like an honor and we just go out and play hard every time. Face the basket. Kick back out. Skip. Swing. Get the ball moving. Like somebody can't lead you to somewhere they've never been. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't, they can't lead you through dark if they don't have the light themselves. You don't leave the basket area till the ball goes corner. So if the ball is still there, I'm still sitting here. Coach Hurley says the way you practice is the way you're going to play. So we try to play as hard as we can in practice, and then games will come easy. I catch the ball here, turn around jump shot, for God's sake. I didn't even have to look at the basket to know where I am. Turn around jump shot, why would you put on the floor? You go by one guy, the next guy is there. It's zone. Coach Hurley made me realize that it was like, it was right here and I could do it. And he, he, he like, he developed my whole game and I just appreciate him for that. All my accomplishments, I, I want to just basically go through him. He does so much for us that I think we should, we should um, do enough for him. For six uh, seniors to play, a Division One players, all have accepted scholarships already. Three kids are playing in the Big East next year. You know, we've got uh, three kids going to the Atlantic 10. Gio Fontan, a terrific point guard, be a major contributor right away for them. Second kid is Alberto Eswick, about a 6'4 uh, wing player. I have a, a guard going to Pitt, Trayvon Woodall, who's a terrific player. Another kid going to Marquette, Tyshawn Taylor. And then the next kid is Mike Rosario, who's a shooter, so that is a score in the last two years. He's going to Rutgers. And our last scene is A.J. Rogers, uh, six foot five and a half, who's going to say, play St. Joe's in Philly. What they've done and really put themselves over the edge is they really committed themselves to weight training since last April. And we've had tremendous strides in, in making the kids physically stronger and, and fitter, and it really has showed so far. I think everybody pretty confident. The whole team pretty confident from the first guy to the 16th guy. Right now we're just worried about winning. You know, whoever scores 20 scores 20. Whoever scores zero scores zero. As long as we win at the end of the game, that's all that matters. Basketball is certainly a game of feel, and I think the feel that they have for each other right now is very good.